Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy. It's a blessing. It's a pleasure being out here in nature, reaching out to you all over the world. And I know many of you right now facing winter, but if you connect with the true sun within you, the true fire within you, of which in the Bible they speak about the Holy Ghost and fire, the Pentecostal fire of which many Christians misinterpret and believe in some power outside of themselves. If you can connect with that, you will be warm and you will be having summer in winter. Okay? So, with that being said, I want to speak about the door of success and we are coming into 2018 which basically we are coming into 11 the doorway the gateway and I'm asking you to use this entrance to come into a higher level of consciousness to come into abundance to come into health wealth and wisdom because I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health and your soul will prosper. But for that to happen, your belief system has to change. And that is what I want to speak to you about to show you how to come into the entrance of the doorway of success. Now, everything in this world is mental. Everything in this world for us a thought. Everything in this world for us imagine. And the Bible says in St. John 1 and verse 3 that without him there isn't anything made that was made and that all things was made by him. But first of all, in verse 1 he says, in the beginning was the world and the world was with God and the world was God. The same was in the beginning with God. It is just teaching you how everything comes from the invisible world into the visible world. And we say in the beginning. Okay, so from eternity, everything manifests physically as we would see them. Okay, so you have to tap into that sixth sense. You have to tap into the right side. You have to throw your net on the right side. As it was said to Peter, and Peter is just the attribute of hearing. And that's why he that have an ear to hear, they will hear what the Spirit is saying. And that is why when he threw the net on the right side, his net began to break because of the abundance and he had to beckon unto others to come also. It means he could have supplied employment. <laughs> he was no longer an employer, an employer. Um, he, you become an employer, employing others. Okay? So you see, when you understand that the Bible is a real a book of parables, it's a book of symbology, and it must be interpreted psychologically you will understand even more what I'm, I'm bringing across to you. Okay, now, when we look at our eyes, okay, it is the place of vision. And the Bible says without that vision, the people perish. But the real true vision it is speaking about is not the vision with these two eyes. It's the vision with the false eye, the supernatural eye, the eye of God. The eye of the mind. The eye that will open within you from the base of your spine. <laughs> and you will ascend and exit your skull like a fiery being. You will ascend like a fiery being, sorry. And you will, you, you will hear that an earthly wind and come out because you will have experience and awaken imagination. So, when you close these two eyes, then you begin to see in this eye, which is the mind's eye. And, for those who are religious and superstitious, I sound like a preacher now. <laughs> Matthew 6, 22, my brothers and sisters, 
<laughs> and the preachers normally have someone um, beating on the, the keyboard and the keyboard and the, the people in the church is now going to get emotional <laughs> and they start, they will go up to the pulpit and show you money. <laughs> but I don't have, I, I'm not asking anybody for money. If a person feels like to donate to me and they donate to me, I will not kill the seed. I, 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 I will speak a blessing on the seed. Okay? Now, yes, so Matthew 6.22 says, if your eye be single, it means if you get in touch, with your true spiritual eye, the supernatural eye, the eye of God, by believing that God is within you and that the creative power in you is God because there's one creator and there's one creative power. If you will embrace Luke 17, 21, which says, don't let anyone point you and have you to look outside of yourself or look to any power outside of yourself. For the kingdom of God is within you. It is telling you the power is within you. So look to the power within you. And that there's no one in this world to change but yourself. That's why he said to walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. No, if you will embrace that. And you would believe also. Matthew 6, 33, which says, Seek it for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. It is saying. When you see for us the kingdom, the secret of creation will be made known to you. And you will be able to attract whatever is your desire. That is what they are referring to as the law of attraction. So the doorway to abundance and success is by changing your belief system and believing in the God within you and learn to look to the eye of your mind and know that the creator is your own human imagination and that the pattern that will make and mold your every desire is the man of imagination and that is why Matthew 6, 6 tells you not to be like the hypocrite who want to be seen and heard. But you must go into your closet. This is the closet he's talking about, the secret place where the father is, where imagination is, the imaginal man is, where the invisible man is, where the inner man is. I want to say close the door. It is saying close these two eyes and see things through the supernatural eye of Matthew 6, 22. And that is why also Psalm 4, 4, it tells you, you must commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Meditate within. See things to your mind's eye. Go to the end. See it already happen. Be the true dreamer. The story of Joseph, get, understand that. I won't go into it now. Be the true leader. Be the master of your destiny. Believe in yourself. See to find the highest version of yourself. Get in the right energy, in the right frequency, in the right vibration. Feel and positivity and non negativity. Stay away from idle speaking, foolish gesturing, and get into isolation. Find time with yourself and get pen and paper and write down your every desire and go to bed more consciously after you would have seen it become a finished work through your mind's eye by closing these two eyes so get rid of the ego self and get in touch with your higher self and that is how you're going to open the door of success in 2018 and that is why it's the time of the doorway it's the gateway it's the pathway 
It's 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. And he really just wants start calling numbers. <laughs> Devil numbers and demon, and demon numbers because they do not know that the Bible is filled with numerology, astrology, astronomy, and many, many, many more. I can go on and on. But I think I got my message across to you, so I end here. And I give you the sign of Matthew 6, 22, which says, If I be single, your whole body will be full of light. And that is the doorway, the gateway to everything up on the face of this earth. Because everything was first imagined. Everything was first a thought. And the Bible says in the beginning, God said, Let there be. And there was. And a word is a thought expressed. So I just give you the key right there to open up. The gateway to success. With that being said, I want to say thank you very much. Peace. Love you. And all the best in 2018. Riches, prosperity, abundance. Boom.